Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Love Miss. Today we are going to be trying out all my Sephora stuff for my haul. You know, the haul I did a few weeks ago, you know, that one. I'll put it up in the eye card if you guys haven't seen it. I um, I hold all of this stuff that I'm about to use today. If you guys want to see the packaging, you know, just getting it brand new, that video is there. But today we're going to be trying everything on. So this is kind of going to be like get ready with me try on products. I just went ham on my face, so it is red. I can't help myself sometimes. <laughs> also, do you like my reindeer ears? Aren't they so cute? Oh my God, I love them so much. I wish that you guys could see them more. Not much to explain here. We're just going to go ahead and try on all these products that I hauled in that video from my Sephora sale haul. If you're not subscribed already, I would love if you consider subscribing. I'm doing videos all December long for Love Miss, aka Lindsay's Lovely Christmas. See, look, I'm bored. <laughs> so if you guys like those kinds of videos, make sure you subscribe. Now, let's go ahead and try this stuff on. I'm so excited. I haven't tried any of it on except for the eyeshadow palette because I did a whole video on it. Okay, first things first, my lips are so dry. So we're gonna try out the Sugar Rose Fresh Lip Treatment, which came with the Fresh Set. So I'm going to add this on because my lips are so dry. Feels nice, smells nice, and it's got a little bit of a tint. Nice. <laughs> I just said nice so many times. Okay, I have a couple of, like primer kind of things that I wanna try. Actually, I have three different ones. So first, I got this little sample, the Dewy Skin Cream. So I wanna put this one on first. You guys know I have super dry skin and I love the dewy look, so I wanna put this on. And I don't know if it's, is it like moisturizing properties? Replenishing Japanese purple rice for dry skin. That's what I need. Tasha products smell incredible. They're just so expensive. I love getting these little jars. Sometimes I have these as 100 point perks on Sephora pretty often. So every once in a while I'll get one. But I've never tried the dewy one. I've only ever tried the water cream. Today we're trying the dewy one and wow, that is definitely dewy. Ooh, I like that. I did not do my hair at all. So it's like literally tangled. What kind of YouTuber am I? <laughs> I'm a great beauty YouTuber. Listen, we don't do hair on this channel, okay? Wow, my face is so red. Oh my God, I really went in. <laughs> I have like so many like little blackheads that I just really need to take care of. I'm about to go to my friend's house and we're gonna do face masks and drink wine and it's gonna be great because we're kind of locked down in Italy here. It's like a partial lockdown and you can't leave your little city area but she lives like right on my street. It's so great. We just met not long ago and we've been hanging out. It's been it's been really nice to have somebody like right here because I miss my friends. Now I have a friend right here. Anyways, <laughs> really um, random. Anyways, let's try this. This is another thing. I didn't mention this in my haul, but this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base and it's a little tiny sample one, but this stuff at full price is so expensive and i was like yes let me try this little eye base in this little sample size i'm super excited to try this as a little eye base it feels like really creamy and nice and like super moisturizing is this considered a primer i mean it says eye base so I would assume it's like a primer. I guess we'll see how everything goes on. I like how tempted eyeshadow primer, which is why I always use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in Eden because it's tinted. But I mean, this feels nice though. Like it feels so hydrating, which I feel like I need for my eyelids because I don't know, I feel like they always act weird. Like sometimes they feel oilier and sometimes they feel just really dry. Most of the time dry, but I have been noticing some oils on my eyelids lately, which is weird. So maybe they just need moisture and that's why they're getting oily. That could be a thing. Maybe this will help with that. I don't know, but I kind of hope that I don't get obsessed with this because it will be so expensive to buy at full price. Oh, it does say moisturizes, smooths, and primes, and hydrates. Ooh, Ooh that sounds great. Feels amazing. I know I have a lot of little tiny mini things. I bought a lot of mini things. <laughs> But this one I think also was a little point perk. This is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer with um, Maki, Maki, Maki. Um, words are hard. <laughs> per berry, Berry, Maki Berry. Uh, I have no idea. I think this is the hydrating one. Yeah, normal to dry skin. Let's try this out. Did I tell you it was Bite Beauty already? I don't remember if I said that. 
but we're just gonna use this oh whoa <gasps> Wow! Oh my gosh, I don't know why, but that just feels really interesting to me. It definitely has that primer feel. I know this is really boring because it's just a primer, but it has that primer feel, but it feels incredibly moisturizing. Surprisingly, I did not buy a foundation, but we're gonna do eyes first anyways. I don't know why I'm saying anything about foundation because we are definitely do eyes first here on my channel, always. I'm gonna use the Naughty Nude Palette. I only have used this a couple times so that I could do my review. I'll put the review up here if you guys wanna see a full review of this palette. But I've been wanting to use it again because it's so pretty. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, this palette is so good. It's just, oh, ever since I did my review, I'm like, wow, I'm really, really loving it even more. Now I just gotta decide what I wanna do. I don't wanna do gold because I just did a gold look on my channel using the gold Huda Beauty. Huda, I've been wearing a lot of Huda Beauty. Um, Huda Beauty palette that just came out. <laughs> so many palettes, guys. Ooh. <laughs> do you guys know sometimes I just sit here and I swatch my eyeshadow like over and over and over again? It's really weird, but I can't help myself because I love eyeshadow. Okay, let's go with this one first. Juicy. Whoa, I really need to do my brows. And holy crap, that shadow was so pigmented. Oh my god, I need to poke my eyebrows. I'm like just now seeing that. Wow. Ooh. I don't think I tried this shade last time. Did I? I don't remember, but this is so pretty. Should I do a halo look? I love doing halo eyes. I think we're going to. <laughs> You know what I haven't done in a really long time is a cut crease. I used to be like really into cut creases. I mean, I still like them a lot, but I haven't done one in a while. I should do one soon. Let's go into Naughty. Oh, I know a shade I wanna try because I didn't try this in the last, um, in my review, I don't think I tried it on the eyes. This one right here, Hard, is really interesting. It has that marble on there, but it's, I think it said that it's a matte shade. I don't know, but let's just see if it does anything. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it, it's definitely got pink. Wow, it's definitely got some pigment to it. Whoa. No, I, I just did not expect it to go on so easily like that because it almost feels like a cream. Whoa, I like that. It's like blending incredibly well. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Juicy that very first the very first shade right here. A little blend action. Let's use Irresistible. Oh my god, it's so pretty, you guys. This one right here. I'm just gonna use my finger. This shadow is just like, oh, it's so pretty. Look at it, oh my god. Oh, I love that, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me tell you something, guys. People are sleeping on this palette. I know it's a nude palette, but like, it's so good. Like all of the shades in here are amazing, minus that weird slippery glossy shade. No point of even trying to show you guys, it's a gimmick, but uh, every single other shade in this palette is just like, <sighs> wow, amazing. I think I wanna take a little bit of Shameless, which is this one up here, and I'm going to just pop some of that on top. It's kind of more of like a shimmery, it's got a little bit of a um, translucent base. Not really, but a little bit. But, ooh, do you see that? It just kind of puts a little a bit of extra oomph on top of stuff. Kind of like a topper. But it's also like you can build it up and be full, like, shimmer pigmentation. Some more blend action here. I'm just, like, really deepening out these inner and outer corners right now. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of liner. I want to show you guys this. This was one of the things that I didn't have yet for my haul, but I did order it during the sale. And this is by Stila. This is the Stay All Day Dual Ended Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I've had this liner before in the micro and in the regular liner. I use the micro one, micro one so much, like a lot, you guys. Like it's almost every time I apply lashes, I'm using it to do my inner corners. But then they came out with this. I really like this liner. Like even the full size regular tip is good too. But this is so, 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 so genius, you guys. So it's a double-ended liquid liner. You have a fat tip, like a regular size tip, you know? It is a felt tip, but on the other side, you have the micro tip. And I think this is so smart because it's so helpful to have a teeny tiny, tiny micro tip, just like right here. It's like right here. If you need to like fix the little tiny tail, it's right here. 
and then you have your large one at the same time oh my god this is just so smart to me honestly you don't really need the micro but it definitely helps like it really is a good tool to have to do really fine teeny tiny details it's so great i'm so excited to have this it's oh it's such a good liner too it lasts so long it lasts so long you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do a wing real quick Okay, I don't have any new foundation to share with you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw some foundation on. I'm probably gonna put a little bit of mascara on and my brows. That way, those things are done because I don't have any new products of those to share with you guys. And then we'll come back and we'll try the Rare Beauty Blush, the Patrick Star, Patrick Star, wow. Patrick Ta <laughs> Blush, the Charlotte Tilbury stuff, the Ilia Bronzer, and then the lip products. So yes, I will be right back. Okay, you guys, I want to try this. I have a little sample of the Rare Beauty Concealer. In my haul, I thought it was the foundation uh, sample, but it's actually the concealer. And I did order this as well, uh, but it's not here yet. And I'm not sure if this is gonna work on me. Like, I'm not sure if the shade is good, but I'm gonna try this shade six, 160C, but I ordered the shade 110N. <laughs> So this is this might be much darker than what will work for me but let's just try it anyways maybe i gotta swatch it first Ooh, actually wait a minute now uh, ew, that's too dark that's too dark it's like a good foundation shade for me but it's not quite a concealer shade so darn i'll have to skip on that i will just add some of my own concealer then a little bit of elf hydrating camo concealer maybe it's really not that much darker than that one actually that's the rare one and that's the elf one maybe it would be okay for me i don't know it's too late i already have my elf camo concealer on so now i'm like oh my gosh the shade that i ordered it must be really light. Oh, we will find out when it gets here. I'm gonna set everything down with some translucent setting powder. This is by Ciate. It's the Everyday Vacay Coconut Powder. Oh, I gotta stop there because we gotta try the Rare Blush. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. I have heard the most amazing things about this blush. I've also heard it's extremely pigmented, which is actually why I'm okay that it's a came in the mini set. Oh, I didn't even use bronzer yet. It's fine. Let's just see what happens with this. I think that was too much. Ooh, it is indeed very pigmented, but wow, that's... That's nice. Use a sponge on the side. Okay, I like that so far. I definitely have to try it a few more times, like really figure out how I feel about it. But it's really nice. It's not as pigmented as what I thought it would be, but that could be because I knew when I went in with a lighter hand, you know. Okay, let's try the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I'm so excited to try this. I got this is the mini one, which for me is kind of perfect. I love mini products. They just are the best because I don't use a ton of one product like i use a bunch of different things all the time so it takes me forever to go through products so i love minis and this is actually a really 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 good size and this is so expensive that i would just much rather buy the mini and save a little money we're gonna try the little sculpting side the contour and see what this does Ooh! wow Ooh! okay it's funny because like this doesn't swatch very pigmented or anything but that is definitely contouring my cheek pretty good. Wow, I'm actually really like surprised. That's really good. Oh, I love that. I love, love, love. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's nice because it's not like overwhelming either. Like it, it kind of is easy to start little even though you dip in your brush. It blends really nicely. Wow, look at that. Oh, that looks so good. That is so good. I love that. There's also um a highlight side and we'll use that in a second but first i want to use the elia bronzer this is in drawn in and i used this one time one time since we uh talked since i hauled it with you guys and it was incredible i love i 
love this. It's so good. It is the most beautiful bronzer shade for my skin tone. Oh my god, it's so good. And in the summertime, I just feel like it's gonna look so much better. I mean, it already looks really good, but it's like bronze. It's like so it's just, just a beautiful warm bronzy shade and I really like it a lot. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. Ooh. I love it. Super happy about that. Like that's one of my favorite things that I purchased. I'm gonna add some more blush. <laughs> I don't feel like you can really see it anymore because I did kind of cover it up. Also, I didn't really go in that heavy because I knew about this. My Patrick Ta She's So LA Cream and Powder Blush. This packaging, I just can't get over it. Got the cream, you got the powder. I wonder if I can use this cream on top of everything. Let's try. Why not? Put some of it on this stippling brush. I think that was a lot. Not bad. Ooh, okay. Maybe I should put some on my fingers. Oh my god, I feel like I have so much blush on, but I like it. I think I've put too much products on because my uh, foundation is lifting now. Wow. I think I've just been putting too much on top of each other. It's definitely me. I'm like, I'm adding too much stuff. <laughs> Let's try the powder one. Ooh, I really like it. I really like it. Such a beautiful bronzy nude blush. So pretty. Oh, I really like the powder. I think the, obviously the cream, I just, I didn't do it right because I, I've had too much stuff on my cheeks, like I'm doing too much, so it's like kind of things are getting a little crazy, you know, with my base. This side where I didn't do all of that is a lot better than this side. I don't know. You guys might be able to tell, but it's a little crazy over here. <laughs> okay, let's try some of this highlight. I feel like this is going to be a really, the highlight in the contour palette, by the way. I feel like this is going to be really, like, natural. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute now. That. Oh, yeah that high oh i love that oh my this little thing oh my god that is beautiful it's like the most beautiful natural highlight oh wow i love this so good oh, i'm so excited about that definitely happy about that what else do i have is it just lip products now i think so okay so i have my rare beauty lip balm dewy lip balm and then i have a pat mcgrath lip pencil in buff and then we have the charlotte tilbury lipstick in jk magic which oh you guys i love this so much oh it's so beautiful definitely want to have that on but first i want to put on some of this rare beauty one because i really want to try it i want to see what this looks like feels nice i like the little tint to it oh i really like that it's definitely a little more pigmented than i expected but i like it oh that is so beautiful oh i love that love 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 that that i'm a fan of that for sure i just realized i didn't do my lower lash line or put on lashes or anything but it's fine we're just trying out products i'm not gonna make this like too serious okay let me put this pat mcgrath lip pencil on i love these these are amazing i have another video either up already if it's up i'll put it up here or it's coming out soon trying new pat mcgrath makeup you guys i just got the this palette oh my god you guys Oh my god, that's all I'm gonna say. It's a really nice lip liner color. It would be really pretty, like, filled in too. But I'm gonna leave that there. I don't think this really necessarily goes... Well, maybe it does. I don't know if it necessarily goes with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. But I'm gonna put it on top anyways. Oh yeah, it does. It does. It goes together. This lipstick smells so yummy. It smells so good. And it looks so beautiful. I love this shade so much. I can't help myself. I have to do an inner corner highlight, so I'm gonna use this shade. It's gold, but it goes around, goes against everything else I use. But it's fine. It's really pretty, so I'm gonna use it anyways. My eyeshadow never feels complete unless I do this part because it's ugh, one of my faves. I love it. It's so cool. Anyways, I think that's everything. All right, guys. So I think that's everything. I hope I didn't miss anything, but I think that's everything that was in my haul for the most part. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Come back tomorrow. We got more videos coming all December long. There's already been a lot posted. If you guys want to check out any of my love miss videos, there's a, there's a playlist in the description box. I'll also put it right here in the end card if you guys want to just click on it from here. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.